For more on this, we're joined by Professor Anne-Marie Brady, a specialist in Chinese politics at the University of Canterbury. And Anne-Marie, what exactly is in this agreement that is so concerning? Well, we uh, have seen a leaked um, version of the document, which the um, Sogavari government says is genuine. And it in the document, it says that um, China can bring military, um, police, intelligence uh, presence into the Solomons uh, at the request of the Solomons government, and also that there can be naval um, boats visiting, Chinese Navy boats visiting. And it has to be stressed that the Solomons uh, has, as our Prime Minister Adun has said, and as Solomons uh, um, opposition MPs have said, the Solomons does not uh, have any external threats that would warrant this level of security presence from China in the Solomons. So why is the Solomons entering into this agreement with China? Well, from Prime Minister Sogavari's point of view, um, he is um, looking to bolster his um, political strength. He, he is attracted to the strong man uh, in politics ideal. Um, he has already used his police um, forcefully against a peaceful demonstration and it's clear that he is going to be using uh, Chinese forces um, against those who oppose him. So this is uh, that's what Sogavari wants. But what China wants is something else altogether. Because for China, the Solomons uh, and also New Caledonia are strategically extremely important. You know, the governments may change, but geography does not. So these small two uh, collections of islands in the Pacific, the Solomons and New Caledonia, guard very important shipping lanes that go from the North Pacific all the way down to Antarctica. So as our New Zealand Ministry of uh, Defence and also the Australian Defence Force said very explicitly in their security um, public security papers in the last two years, if a hostile power had a base on one of these strategic islands in the Pacific, it would have a direct and immediate effect on New Zealand security. Well, what security implications does it have for New Zealand and the wider Pacific? Well, if a hostile power has a base on these islands, they could cut off, uh, they could blockade uh, our, um, our seas, the wider Pacific, um, as uh, Japan attempted to do in World War II. They could cut us off from any military support from the United States or, or other countries who we partner with. And they could also prevent Australia and New Zealand uh, going up into um, Asia or into the Indo-Pacific to um, defend and work with other partners. Emery, is it a done deal now? I mean, the Solomons have signed uh, this agreement with China. You can be sure that our officials in New Zealand and Australia and the US are working extremely hard to come up with some solutions on this because it's an absolute game changer. Uh, as you know, the Australian opposition uh, foreign affairs spokesperson, Penny Wong, said in Parliament today in Australia that this was the biggest failure in Australian foreign policy history um, and that the Morrison government was responsible for it. It's really serious and, it's, uh, and our politicians know it, which is why they're speaking up so clearly. Well, Anne-Marie Brady, thanks for joining us all the way from Washington, D.C.